Hey everybody, Taylor Matzel here, Caldwell Banker Realty in the Twin Cities. And today I'm gonna to do a quick video and talk about, from the homeowner's perspective, what installing HVAC in an old building that doesn't have anything present uh, entails. So I'm in a duplex that I own in Minneapolis. The heating system in the upper unit was gas wall heaters and the air conditioning was just window, your standard window AC. And I recently decided to change that to traditional furnace, ductwork, and central AC. So I'm gonna flip the camera around here and show you how, what that looks like, how it went, and the pros and cons of doing so. So I'm in the upstairs of, or the third floor of the building, which is an unfinished attic. Um, there's a quick view of it. And, Basically, there was three steps in the process of putting all this in. Uh, step one was to bag up all the insulation that was up here. So that was a pretty big job. As you can see, there's quite a few bags of insulation. They also had to suck some of the insulation that was in between the floorboards and the ceiling down below. They had to vacuum some of that out so they could have easy access when putting in the ductwork. So that was step one. Step two was determining where the return supplies would go and cutting holes in the ceiling for that. So there's a supply there. This is the main supply line and then they have branches off to, to get to the um, registers down below. And then this is the return. We just did one return in the middle. Um, one item I had the contractors keep in mind when doing this was I may finish this space up here at some point in the future. So we had the supply lines and the return out of the areas where I may finish off, which was there and up here. This is a pretty big attic space. So that was something I'm glad I did because it does still give me the option to finish this off if I want to down the road. Uh, step three was putting in the actual duct work. That's what all this silver stuff is here. It's wrapped in insulation and then just a flexible tube that runs. Uh, and then step four was hooking the ductwork up to the furnace there. And then there's also a air con central air conditioning unit outside down below. This was pretty simple because there's already a gas line up here and they just propped the furnace there. So that's what it looks like. Another quick view of everything. And I'll pop down below, show you how that turned out. Let's see here. All right, so here's the upper unit. Uh, as you can see, there's a supply for the living room here. There's a return, the main return, the one and only return there. Here's a bedroom. There's a supply. That's the old gas wall heater there. So that's what it looks like. Did run into an issue in the bathroom when installing the bathroom fan. I had that done as part of the process too. Uh, for whatever reason, the ceiling material in the bathroom here was still plaster so that cracked and crumbled pretty good it crumbled a little bit around the supply there too otherwise the other areas where the supply supplies went in went in very clean because the ce ceiling material was sheetrock so <clears throat> couple pros couple cons with doing a job like this um, one pro would be uh, the heating system is much much more uh, safe. The previous system, as I mentioned earlier, was gas wall heaters pictured there. Uh, those got pretty unsafe because they just direct vent out, out the side of the wall. And uh, I feared that maybe at some point there'd be a good big gust of wind that could potentially blow some of the exhaust back in. Um, so that's one pro, this system is very safe. The other big pro is I now have central air. That'll be very nice. Um, couple cons with doing a job like this. For one, it's very, very expensive. 
Um, so just is what it is. I, I knew getting into this property is something I need to do down the road. So it wasn't a, it wasn't a huge unexpected item for me. Um, another con is it is a little bit louder than what I previously had. The gas wall heaters um, don't make any noise at all. So when this thing runs, um, there's only one return. This is a pretty small space. So you definitely hear it just sounds like a, a fan is not running on medium speed. Uh, so that's another con. Uh, outside of that, the only other con I can think of is it does when it heats it's a little bit uneven because the supplies are in the ceiling so warm air rises naturally so you have warm air coming out of the the top area in this unit it just kind of goes back up but down below here is another unit that has a furnace so their air kind of seeps up through the floor naturally so that helps but that's the only other con um, Outside of that, I'm really, I'm really happy with how things went. It did take a little bit longer than I thought. It took a couple weeks for them to come in and do the full, the full job. It's a big job. Luckily, the built, the unit up here is vacant right now, so that that helped. Um, so yeah, that's the overview. Uh, if there's ever any questions you have, feel free to reach out to me, and I hope this video helps. Thanks and have a great day.